Hello friends, welcome to CodeChef. This is Suraj, and in this video, let's discuss this problem. Sort the strings from starters 46. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, we are given a binary string S of total length n, and in one operation, we can select a substring S and reverse it. For example, on reversing a substring that is starting at index 2 and ending at 4. So here, if we consider this one, so index 2 and ending at index 4 so if we reverse this one so this part will become 0 0 and 1 okay and here we need to find the minimum number of operations required to sort this binary string and it can be proven that this string can always be sorted using the above operation finite number of times so here let's see the input structure in the input first of all we'll have total number of test cases then for each test case we will have two lines in the first line of each test case we will have the value n that is the size of our binary string s then on the second line of each test case we will get the binary string s and for each and every test case we just need to uh, print one number uh, per test case that is the minimum number of operations required to sort this binary string using this operation as given let's see the test cases so here in this first test case the size of our binary string is 3 and the binary string given is 0 0 0 so here you can see that the all the values in this binary string is same so there is no need to sort so this binary string is already sorted and hence the output is 0 that is the minimum number of operation is 0 now let's see the second test case here here our binary string is 1 0 0 1 so this part is sorted and only this part here is not sorted properly okay so if we select this part here from here till here and re and we reverse it so it will become 0 0 and 1 and this one will come as it is okay so now if you see now this is sorted in increasing order so it just need one operation for the second test case so we output one and now let's see the third test case here here the binary string is 1 0 1 and 0 so here if we sort this one so we get 0 1 1 0 and then after this if we sort uh, if we reverse this one so it will become 0 0 1 1 so this string uh, this will become sorted in two operation first we reversed this uh, substring here then we reversed this substring so in two reverse operations we are able to get this sorted string so the number of operations required for third test case is also 2 now let's see the fourth one here here the size of our binary string is 6 and our binary string is 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1. So first of all here this is already sorted and here this part is not sorted. So first of all we can uh, select this substring and reverse it. So it will get 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and then we can select this part here and reverse it. So it will become 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and 1. So again we can see that two reverse operations are needed to get a sorted string. So for the last test case also the output will be 2. Now let's discuss the approach. So let's say we have some random binary string in which zeros are coming few times. Then ones are coming. Okay and then again we got zero here. And then again one few times then again zero at the end okay so here if you see that first of all let's start from here so till here our string is already sorted so there is no need to do any swap operation bit uh, here in this section but if you come and see here here our string is not sorted so if we reverse this part then our string will become sorted till here okay so if we reverse this part so let's say we reversed this part and now it will become like this so after this reverse operation our string will become sorted till here okay then if we select this part here starting from this one and till last zero here if we reverse this part then these zeros will come at this position and this one will come at this position so our entire string will become sorted so what i mean is uh, if we have 2 0 here okay if we have 2 0 or 1 0 it doesn't matter so the count of 0 which are coming together doesn't matter and also the count of 1 which are coming together doesn't matter so we can simply write the above string that it is also it is equivalent to 0 1 0 1 0 
So if we replaced all these zeros with one zero, then all these ones with one and all these zeros with again single zero and all this one with single one and all this zero with single zero. So now here if we see first of all this part is sorted. Okay. This part is not sorted. So we can swap this. So it will become 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, uh, 1, 0. Now till here it is sorted and only this part is not sorted. So if we swap this, we will get this part. Okay. So if you see this, okay, the number of zeros coming after this uh, 1, okay. So here it is 1, then we got 1, 0. And here also it is 1, then we got 1, 0. So number of such pairs, okay, our answer will be simply equal to number of such pairs because here if we resolve this pair here, then in the next round we need to resolve another pair and so on we need to resolve each and every coming pair likewise. So let's take an example 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay. So here is one pair then this is second and this is third pair okay. So now let's see first of all we start from here. And our string is sorted till here. Then if we reverse this substring here, so we get 0, 0, 1, and above will come as it is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1. So now our string is sorted till here, but we need to sort this pair now. Okay, so then we'll uh, we can reverse this entire part. So we'll get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and now this remaining will come as it is. So now here we need to so resolve this pair now okay so if we reverse this entire string so we'll get 0 0 0 and again 0 and the remaining three ones will come here so you can see that in each reverse operation we are actually resolving such pairs okay so what what it means is in any general string in any given general string we just need to find out such how many pairs exist uh, how many pairs of 1 and 0 exists and that will be simply our answer. I hope you understood logic to this problem. But still, if you have any doubt, now you can use this uh, new feature in CodeChef that is CodeChef's doubt support. So let me just show you how you can use this new feature. So let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say I pick any problem. So let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem. Then here in this problem, let's say I'm stuck and I'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion. So what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts. So let me start this new chat and here I'll ask a simple question. So let me ask. So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the implementation in C++. So here in C++ first of all I'm accepting the value of t that is the total number of test cases and then here I'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function I'm accepting the value of n and s here n is the size of a binary string and s is the actual binary string then here I have initialized the variable count and last here I have initialized count to 0 and last as any random character which is not 0 and 1 then here I'll iterate through uh, bit by bit of this binary string so and here I'll check if the last bit was 1 and if the current bit is 0, it means we have successfully found one pair of 1, 0. Then I'll increment the count by 1. And here I'll uh, cache the current bit uh, into, the, into this variable last such that we can use in another iteration. And then finally after this for loop, we'll get total number of pairs, total number of these pairs, uh, 1 and 0. That will be our answer so we can directly print it.
here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i am accepting t the total number of test cases then i am calling solution function for each and every test case and here in solution function i am accepting the value of n and s and here i have initialized this count to 0 and last to any random character which is not equal to 0 or 1 then here i will uh, iterate uh, bit by bit in this binary string and i will check if the last bit is 1 and if the current bit is 0 it means we have found one pair of 1 and 0 so we will increment the count by 1 and here at the end we will cache this bit uh, to use in another itera uh, next iteration so after this for loop we will get our answer stored in this count variable which we can directly print so I hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both C++ and Python. In case you have any doubt, feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.